All right, we on Shalom, Shalom. First things first, we're going to give our honor and praise unto our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Kaka Dash, the Rock of the Yahweh, Brock of the Yahweh Shai, the Rock of the Yahweh, Brock of the Yahweh Shai, the Rock of the Yahweh, Brock of the Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Kaka Dash. Brothers from Jeff City, Missouri, uh, GMS Missouri Camp, me and brother Yashar. There you go, bro. Say Shalom. Hey. We back at it, man, and um, we want to just touch base on this uh, lesson, especially in the times we in now and everything you see and take place, that uh, mercy is becoming more and more uh, valuable, man. It's not valuable, but it's, it's, it's our only hope, man, is to have mercy and the importance of mercy. All right. Let me go ahead and share this screen real quick. Because if we don't got mercy in these days, man, it's, 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 it's going to be all bad, man. All right, because Esau is, is getting, he's getting ready to push this mark. <clears throat> he's getting ready to push this um, vaccinations. All these things that he's getting ready to push and lay down on the planet Earth, it's, it, it's coming to pass, man. All right, we've been, we've been told of these things. We've been watching. We've been, you know, praying and hoping, man, that these things come to pass. Because once these things start coming to pass, then what? Then we know that the end is close. Go ahead, Ak, you want to speak? In these times, man, that we are approaching, man, mercy is what we're going to need. Need. That's it. Need, man. We're going to need mercy, man, because, because, uh, because this, these times will be some very rough times, man. This, this ride is going to be rocky. It's very rocky. So hold on, man. Um, and put on the whole armor of your Howard Bosch and Come. And, um. Because we ain't going to have jobs real soon. And we won't know. Uh, we will be, well, not be, but, uh, we would have to. Only depends on your how on on your how and your how shot to feed us, man. Huh. And then this is the word right here. If we go, let's just type in the word mercy. And see how many times it comes up. You see how important this, this word is, man. Go down here. Let's look up what the word mercy actually is. There's a few of them in the OT, but we'll. Chasad. Yep. Chasad. Yep. It's spiritual because that's the brother. Uh, been talking to the brother Kasad, so that's spiritual. Um, goodness, kindness, faithfulness, a reproach, shame. So yeah, faithfulness. So just like why this is important because the the father promised something to uh, uh promised something to our four our forefathers, and our power is not a power to to let that to be a lie, man. Go ahead, bro. All right, man. Uh, we have been, been, we have been given mercy by, by, uh, by how we wait, how we shot, making us back into remembrance of knowing who we are. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, uh, we're also well. Uh, uh the how is well. We have mercy through who? Hamashiach. Mm hmm Okay. He died for us, right? That's right. He took on all the sins of Israel. That's mercy, man. Yep, and we're hoping for that again. 
And because he promised to our forefathers, if we be of them and we, you know, we endure, then the, that mercy is going to extend unto us if we be a part of the elect, man. Yeah. All right. This is the book. Let me get this so I can. Let me pull this right here real quick. This is Psalms 10, 105. Oh, now the numbers don't want to work. Wow. Psalms 105 and 42. All right. Jump down to 40. Let's start at 40. And it says, the people asked and brought quails and sat, satisfied them with the bread of heaven. All right. Because and we also know that that full bread of heaven is Yahweh Shai. Yeah. And it says. And the, it says the people asked and he brought quails and satisfied them with the bread of heaven. He opened the rock and the water gushed out. They ran in in the dry place like a river. For he remembered his holy promise and Abraham, his servant. Uh, See that? Yeah. So the father's going to remember that again, just like now. That's why all this, the things are taking place for the name of Yahweh Yahshua, because what? He is remembering his promise and Abraham, his servant. Yeah. Oh. Um, it says, uh, uh, that he will, that, that he will remember his covenant with Abraham. That's it. So that covenant with Abraham includes the Israelites. It don't include nobody else but the Israelites. I got your precept right here. I can, you can, you got it. This is Psalms 105 and 8. He he has remembered his covenant forever. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. So that replacement theology that vocab is coming with is nonsense. You <laughs> you can't replace the people that the covenant is with. Mm -mm. Because without the people. How was there a covenant? Hey, and, and I just thought about something else. You can't take over a contract without the right signature. So where did when did these mm. when did these mm. when did these nations ever sign the dotted line? Right. When did they ever make the rec when did they ever make the payment to, to sign into that covenant? You can't. You cannot sign a deal. Even in Esau's days, if you're if you do not sign on the dotted line, just like your 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 credit card, they can run your credit. <laughs> your credit card but if you don't sign it you can turn around and say hey I, I didn't run that that's not me yeah I don't know who that who nobody signed for it then I, I I don't have to pay for it that's why certain places will make you sign the receipt before you go out because that's saying what you are giving you are that you are saying that the payment can be made and taken out of your card that's the same thing that the father said unto Israel. I should be your power and you shall be my people. Yeah. Oh. And, oh. Now. Israel said what? Let his blood be on us and our children, right? Come. When, when did the heathen say that? Exactly. Plus. Plus. Moses. He sprinkled the uh, blood on the people. On the Israelites. That, was the, the, that was the contract. Not, Yep. And then remember when Moses, what did he do with the law? He ground up the law because he gave the children of Israel the law twice. He, the first yep. the first set he ground up and made Israel drink it. Yep. Yep. Hmm. I got another one for you. This is Second Ezra 2 and 16. And it says, in those that be dead will I rise up again from their places. 
and bring them out of their graves, for I have known my name in Israel. See? So the Lord's name is in Israel, man. Okay? Period, man. He set his name in Israel. He didn't set his name nowhere else but in Israel. Okay, because what did uh, uh, Rahab say to uh, say to the two us five? She said, "Well, uh, 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 she said, uh, 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 I heard what your power has done to the heathen." Did she not? That's right. She didn't say her. She yeah. said. She put a separation between her and the Israelites. Exactly. Come on, man. Hey, <laughs> I got another one for you, bro. Hey, we didn't even know we were going to go this way, huh? <laughs> uh -huh. It's very cold, man. It says, this is 2nd Ezra. This is 2nd Ezra 3 and verse. Let's start it. I'll start it. 17 and it says and it came to pass uh, let me go to 16 let me go to man let me go to 14 14 him does love it says him thou lovest and unto him only thou showest thy will man i gotta go up hold on bro Th hey this is a banger man this is going to we could close the, the lesson off this man Watch this. It says, this is 2nd Ezra 3 and verse 9. It says, and again, in the process of time, thou broughtest the flood upon those that dwelt in the world and destroyeth them. And it came to pass in every, every of them that has death was to Adam. So was the flood to these. Let me read it again. And it came to pass in every of them that as death was to Adam, so was the flood to thee. Nevertheless, one of them thou leftest, namely Noah, with his household, of whom, of whom come, it says, of whom came all righteous men. And it happened that when they that dwelt upon the earth began to multiply, and had gotten them many children and were a great people, they began again to be more ungodly than the first. Mm. Now, because you see what's happening now, the same thing. We This is the most wicked time. The Lord even said it'd be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah to be around. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Ak. More wicked than Sodom and Gomorrah. More wicked. Now, we all know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah, right? Now, fire and, and fire and brimstone rained down on Sodom and Gomorrah. The same thing is going to happen to America, man. Fire and brimstone will rain down on America, man, yep. through the mental, okay? Yeah. It's the same judgment. Oh, I, uh, uh, what's that? I think it's Second Peter, uh, I think it's, it's easily, huh? Uh, it might be First Peter 2 and 6, let's see. Okay, you want to look it up? I, I finished a couple more of these verses. Con, gotcha. Okay, Khan. And then uh, as soon as you find it, you can bring it out. And it says, uh, uh, now when they lived so wickedly or ungodly than the first, now when they live, or you, if it is the verses, let me know and I'll pull it up for you. All right. Uh, okay. It says, now when they lived so wickedly before thee, thou didst choose thee a man from among them uh, whose name was Abraham. 
him thou lovest, and unto him only thou showest thy will. Why didn't he show it unto the other nations? Ooh, it's a cut. Right. Just like the same thing he showed to Israel, because Abraham is, is a symbolic of Israel also. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's that promise where it's going down to. So the same promise is just like he's looking at the same man. Or the same, the same promise he gave to them is the same one he's looking at in, in their seed. Because that's because the power knows the difference. The world don't know the difference. That's why the Lord is telling us how he judges and sees things by the seed, man. He's not talking about everybody come here. No, it doesn't work like that, man. The Lord is dealing with a, a direct line he promised to. So the world is trying to make the Lord a liar by, by saying everybody can make it. And then the, 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 the covenants for everybody. No, he made a contractual agreement with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And it started off with and, and Noah. Too. He got he promised Noah. Why did he yeah. tell Noah to build that ark? Because he told Noah, you didn't think Noah was building that ark to get saved? No, we didn't put his, 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 just like we building an ark, man. We're building the ark. We're putting the gopher wood together. We're laying on the, 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 the adhesive. And we're, we're building this ark and knowing that we will possibly, we will be saved in that day, man. The same uh -huh. thing Noah was doing, but he was doing a physical ark, an actual physical ark, just like the Lord made the prophets do things in the ancient world, which was symbolic of what was going to take place in the future. You got it. it yeah. Was it was it Second Peter? Yeah, uh, Second Peter twenty six. Let me go here. I open the new tab and everything. Let me go here. Second Peter twenty six. And it reads. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemning them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. So Sodom and Gomorrah was an example of what would happen to another kingdom that would live just like them. Okay? Mm -hmm. And what kingdom is living? Just like them for the work. America is, man. Babylon the Great. Okay? Because Babylon the Great, it is spiritually called Sodom. Okay? Right? It's spiritually called Sodom, man. So, the same judgment that Sodom and Gomorrah got, America is going to get that same judgment. But it's going to be much worse, though. Because they know better. Yeah. Because Esau got all the, he got all the books. He got all the scrolls. Yeah. He, he got the, he, he gathered the whole world. Uh, he been did that in the time of Alexander. So he came yeah. back and did it again. So he's not, it's not new for Edomites to collect the world's history and put it under their control, man. That's the same thing Alexander did. Uh, or his 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 uh, uh, correspondence after him, you know. And the word there for impretus, I found because it says in the blue letter right here. Let me go back to that in Second Peter 2 and 6. It says for ungodly, it says impute, imputelessly. So I'm, I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I tried. <laughs> Impious, impious, you know, hey, that's that's a that's a couple hundred dollar word right there. And it says yeah. impious and it says not showing respect or reverence, especially to the for the most high. Mm. Mm. So that's what the e Esau it says that any nation that should live ungodly, which means any nation that should not show respect or reverence, especially for the most high. Mm-hmm. 
and it says, um, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemning them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that, that after should live ungodly. And, de and deliver just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Now, we are vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, all right? So we are crying out for all of the, for all of the, for all of the abominations that's being done in this place. Hmm. So I looked up the word just, right? The word just is uh, daikos, daikios, daikios. It says righteous, observing divine laws. Mm. In a wide sense, upright, righteous, virtuous, keeping the commandments of Yahweh. So Lot was in that nasty, filthy place, keeping the, the, the commandments of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai. Because that's why Abraham asked the Lord. He said, Lord, if you find ten righteous, will you destroy the whole city? And how is a man righteous? How is a man counted righteous? By the law. Yeah. Not saved by the law, but that's how you counted and measured by the law. So if Lot was just in the in the word of Dikios, Dikios. Let me, yep, Dikios. Let me let Esau get it in. Strong's G, 1342. Dikaios. 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 Which means, of those who seem to themselves to be righteous, who pride themselves to be righteous, who pride themselves in their virtue, whether real or imagined. So he took pride in his righteousness in that city. Yeah. That's why he gave, he wanted to give his daughters up, because he knew the law, especially yeah. the law of um, uh, when you have somebody in your house, a guest. It says, innocent, faultless, guiltless. So the elect, the elect, because they're covered under the blood of Yahweh Shai, are innocent and faultless and guiltless. But because Lot wasn't, you got to think, the elect is not how every man sins. It says our righteousness is as filthy rags. So what makes the elect innocent, faultless, and guiltless is the blood of Yahweh Shai, man. Get this real quick. This is Romans. Let me. I'm just gonna jump to Romans four and seven real quick, and then we can jump right back to that. And the precepts keep coming. And this is this is John. Or Salaki. Romans four and seven. says six born six even as david also described the blindness the blessedness of the man it says the, the blessedness of the man whom it says unto whom the most high imputed righteousness without works wow <sighs> damn i gotta wow. read that again even as let me go to five all right it says, but to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justeth, but him, it says, but to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness.
do nothing. But he had faith though, man. He believed. And you know what I said what? So he said, uh um, uh, you would be with me uh, today, right? Yep, in paradise. You would be with me today in paradise. That's, man, that's that's beautiful. So that's showing you right there that our works are nothing. Our works are nothing. I mean, we we put we show our faith through our works. You know, we show the, the Father that we love. But at the end of the day, it's it's, it's the faith, the belief of of, of yeah. something we can't see. Even in we believe something that was that was made to be that was made to, that was hid from us. We believe something that was literally the most extreme you could ever put on yourself. None of us stopped before we woke up. We didn't. Some people were raised in that life. You know, some brothers were, you know, had the, the blessing of Yah Bashim Yahshai dealing with them at a very young age to, you know, get that that wisdom, you know, planted early. You know, but some all of some of us, hey, I didn't have no idea, man. I mean, I had an idea. I had some kind of like, you know, what if, but it was never, it, it never got solidified like this, man. Mm. It says, but to him that worketh, uh, verse six, even as David also describes the blood, the blessing, the uh, blessedness of the of man of the man whom, or unto whom. Yahweh imputed righteousness without works. And this is what the Lord is doing unto the elect, man. The word there for imputed is la la azamina. La or lo gazomi. Let me let him say that one. Strong G 3049. Like Gibzamai. Which means to reckon, count, compute, calculate, count over, to take in account, to make an account of, to pass to one's account. So the Lord transferred the funds we needed. Damn, man. The Lord put the payment there for us, man. We didn't have the money to, we didn't have the payment. So the Lord gave us the payment, which was Yahweh Shah, man. He fronted us the money to yep. get back to him, man. Yep. Yep. We didn't have enough to make it work. Psalms 31? I believe so. Okay. It's... No. Uh... Okay. Okay. Hold on. Yep, this is uh, Psalms 32 and 1. It says, uh, the Psalm of David, uh, blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Now, whose sins are covered? The elect sins are covered. Okay? The elect sins are covered. In what man? In the blood of Yahweh God. Sins or forgiven. Okay, you won't want to. And it says, Blessed is the man whom unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yep, that's why it says I eat. 
That's what got him. I see he 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 didn't he spoke the truth even when it got him in trouble. This is the book of uh, Revelations 15 or 14 and 5, almost 1, 4, 4. We'll start at Revelations 14 and 4. And it says, these are they which are not defiled of women. And isn't it in the, the 144 and then you get Revelations 1, 1 uh, 14, 4 and it's speaking about the elect. That's not a, that's not a coincidence. That's spiritual. That show you the, the number 144 is, is attached unto the, that, that spirit. You see what I'm saying? Because what's the chances of 144,000? But then we read in Revelation 14.4, it's speaking about, let's read it and see what it's speaking about. Right? These are they which are not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth. That's why they say they swallow a camel and they strain at a gnat. That's them, man. That's them. Yep. Because we have, it, it says that the body, that, that <laughs> they shall be changed because what? We've not been touched spiritually, man. We haven't been touched spiritually. That's what it says because when we put on that new man, we've been born again. As new men, we haven't, we haven't been, as that new uh, man you put it on you put away those women you put away all those 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 old things that that was um holding you down and then what you attach unto Yahweh Shai and you follow him that's it that's a key sign of an elect person a man is telling you in these scriptures that they're gonna follow the lamb whether ever he that means well, however the, the spirit moving they're gonna follow it they're gonna go with it just like because the spirit of Yahweh, the spirit of Yahweh Shai is our shepherd, man. He's leading us through these scriptures. He's leading us through the turmoil. He's leading us. That's why it says, what does it say in the last days? That knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time. The knowledge and wisdom uh, through, through who? Who comes in the volume of the book? Yahweh so knowledge and wisdom of who? Yahweh is, is, the, is the one that's leading us, man. He's leading us, just like he led us in the wilderness with Moses and Aaron. He's leading us today, but he's leading us by the Spirit, man. That's why we say, Rekar, Rekar Kodash, man. Yep. That's the seal, because now the Lord, at first we had the Father's name and the Son's name. Then the Lord put the Spirit on Apostle Elder Tahar to put the Spirit in there. Now the Lord is saying that now you, you just don't have our names. Now the Rekar Kodash has been given unto you. That's why it says, bless every man according to what? In the, in the Holy Spirit, man. That's why I did not say that the Spirit shall come upon you and you shall what? Prophesy, man. Yeah. These bones, these bones, and it told, it told Ezekiel, prophesy, talk to, yell on these bones. Prophesy into the wind, man, and, and, and these bones shall live. And the, the, the Rakar Kodash, man, is the Spirit because it's, it's the wind, it's the breath, man. And it's guiding us, man. That's why Esau, that everybody's getting lost, man. But we're being guided, man. We're being guided not to take the vaccine, the mark of the beast, the Lord. The shepherd warned us of that wolf, man. What would the shepherd, what would the shepherd be if he didn't warn us of, of, of uncoming prey and animals and, and, and danger? 
That's what a shepherd does. He's not, the shepherd does it in however way he wants to. And he's using the men to tell you and warn you way, but because that's a cheap wolf. That's the scariest of wolves, man. That's the biggest of bears. That's the, that's the roarness of lions, man. Because if you deal with that market, it's done, son. Do not pass go. You can't come back from it, man. And you want me to keep going on this uh, Psalms for you? Oh, yeah, but, but hold on. Uh, so, right, so, what kind of said, they got to be virgins, right? Yeah. Well, what kind of, that's a, well, what kind of, that's a, that's a cold cut to you. Because you're not a virgin, because you have a son, what kind of? Come on, man. So, who, he cut him. Yeah. His own logic, his own logic defeated him. Yeah. Why, why, why beat him? Why beat a man? Or why, why beat a man that's already abused himself, man? Mm. He's the one that's gone with a woman because what they want us to do, they want us to cheat on our, our on our husband, man. Yeah. All there are are antagonists. That's why the scriptures say don't go after a woman of, of, of a harlot. You know what I'm saying? Don't go after that those 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 dainty looks. Cause that's these 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 things out here, man. It look good, you know, it smell good. But when you get down to it, that's a crazy ass harlot that don't, that don't know what the hell going on in life. Broken dreams, father problems, it's a damn harlot, man. That's what these philosophies are. They look good. They, they 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 smell right. They got the hair done, the wig on, the, the the apparel you like. You know what I'm saying? But when you get down to it, it's it's not tangible, man. It's only good on skin deep. That's the same thing as these other philosophies. They when you go beyond their skin deep and you try to get into some nitty gritty like prophecy, it becomes what? It becomes nothing. It says these, I'll finish this in Revelation 14 and uh, 14. These are they which are not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the lamb wherever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits of Yahweh and to the lamb. Revelations 14 and 5, and it says, in, in their, in, in, in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh. We didn't hide it. No matter our sins, no matter our down points, we didn't hide this gospel. This gospel was pushed out. It's like this, the same thing Paul said. Paul said, in my members there dwells no good things. That, that, would I, that which I don't want to do, that's what I do. But at the end of the day, Paul ran his course. What did he say? He was finished. Paul never gave up. He never gave up no matter what he fell. And he, he, all, he confessed his sins, but he never got off that horse. He got kicked off his horse, but he never got off the horse of Yahweh Shah, man. He rode that until the to the end. Uh, that's uh, a, that's what we've been given that 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 he, he was led through the spirit to and he was he was an avid. That show you the Lord, man, because really we were the same thing as Paul. Paul, the Lord kicked us off our horse, man. We were riding high, 
Because does it not say Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets? So was not Paul, did not Paul kill the prophets? Yeah. He did he not was there, was he not there with Ste when when Stephen was stoned? He was. And then he rode to go kill more and more, do more damage, and the Lord blinded them. Were we not blinded and 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 and, and, and did the Lord say what? How long, O oh Lord, to the cities be wasted? Yeah. And then turn around, the Lord gave us our sight back, and then we what? The men have been given the truth. Go out there and was fervent, man. Just like now, the spirit of great millstone, which the Lord put on the on the men, the, the apostles and the elders, has echoed through the planet Earth, man. You got I've seen a brother in Nigeria right in the marketplace by himself, man. That tell me that's not Yah Bashim Yahshua's power, man, and will be done in that place, man. This ain't in the landmass of America where you got law and order. They're over there where the lights barely on, man. Darkness. People barely eating. They're over there with the garments on, standing for Yah Bashim Yahshah, man. That's a testimony to the, the to the to the will of the Father, man. Yeah. I seen a little boy prophesying the other day, man. But yeah, hey, hey, we at that time, man. You know, we really at that time. This is this is the uh the knowledge that's coming to us, man. But this is Psalms 32 and 2 says, Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. Because you can't hold this truth in, man. Like that's I just don't talk to people because I know I'm gonna eventually get into the word, man. I I I you know I People, yeah. people not saying, oh, I don't want to get in the word because that's what I want to do. So I, I just be because people don't cast your pearls, man. But sometimes you yeah. just can't hold it in. It says for the day, it says for the day, for the for day and night, day, thy hand was heavy upon me. My my moisture is turned into drought of summer. Salah. I acknowledge my sin unto thee. See? And this is David. This is a man after the Lord's own heart. And he wouldn't need sin. Yeah. I acknowledge my sin unto thee and mine iniquities have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. Salah. Amen. So, David, so David, he acknowledged his transgressions, man. I mean, he didn't hide them, man. Well, he couldn't hide them. Because uh, who uh, who brought it to him? I forgot the uh, name of was it Nathan? Yeah, it was Nathan. Yeah, Nathan. He 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 brought to uh, David a story, and it was about David. Yeah. So that showed you that we were excellent storytellers, man. To where he told the cold story and had David in his emotions and feelings. Man, yeah. bro. Yeah, uh, he said, uh, uh, said, when I kept silent, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long, right? Mm hmm. Now, now, we, now, we, now, when we are going about our daily, we don't like to talk to people because we're going to talk about the word. Okay, these people, they, they won't understand it. So it wouldn't be a point because they would, would look at us like, "What you talking about?" They would know. All right. Now, uh, 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 I'm at work. Uh, me and my uh, papa, papa, when we are talking, just just talking about some regular stuff. Then we started started just talking about the word. Mm. Talking about faith. See, that's why I said iron sharpened iron, bro. Yeah. Cause Jake, yeah. Jake is Jake has a Jake is meant 
Jake is meant for this, man. They, Jake, everything else Jake do is secondary, man. If it ain't the word, it's secondary. The Lord made us a nation. He says he made you a nation of priests. So, <laughs> so every Israelite man is likened unto a priest. We're the, we're the priest of the universe, man. The 144,000 are the priests of the, you, you know what I'm saying? The Lord has established priesthood, man. And, and it's a, it, it, we going to be established, man. I thought three. Let me see here. Yeah, it's talking about the Levites right here. Hold on. It's two and seven. We're close. You know, this is Malachi 2 and verse 6. It says, the law of truth was in his mouth and iniquity was not found in his lips. There you go, that imputed. That's a precept to that too. Yeah. He walked with me in peace and in equity and did turn, it says, and did turn many away from iniquity. It says, for the priest's lips should keep knowledge and they should seek the law at his mouth, for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. See? Yeah. Now, let's go to uh, 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 the men of all the tribes were priests. So I will live to much knowledge. Right? In, uh, in Joshua 1 8, it says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Yeah. Now, of course, my problem don't understand uh, 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 what I'm doing, but he believes in the word, though. So, hey, I'm cool with that. Yeah, exactly. You meet halfway. It right. ain't, it, you know, <laughs> that's why the Lord took Abraham out of that family situation, because he knew his family wouldn't get out of that. And it says the prophet is not respected in his own homeland. Uh, so really, we, 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 we're we given, you know, the Lord separates. You know, he separated Abraham. He, he separated Noah. You think Noah didn't have family and, you know, no one just popped out of nowhere. That wasn't Melchizedek. Right. What was that? Malak Kazadak? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what well, you know. The, the, it, it, so we had family, man. But the family that did believe <coughs> was saved. Yeah. So it's the same thing, man. It, and back then, hey, parents were having multiple kids. You would have who knows how many brothers, man. Right. The earth was at its fullness before no. At a at a point, and I don't want to say fullness, so like I don't because I didn't know, I don't know. But it was at a point there was a lot of people on earth. So a lot of people knew of Noah, and then he Noah's building this big boat. So that's attracting a lot of attention, you know. Why are you doing this? And you know, and then waiting on prophecy. So prophecy was back then, man. What was Noah doing? Prophesying. God. You know? But if you got anything else, bro, we're gonna go ahead and close on out, man. Oh man, that's all I got. Hey, hey, hey. There was a there was a lot, man. You know, I think there's about four lessons in there, bro. We had mercy, no guile, um, the yeah, lips keep knowledge. Yeah, uh, uh, America, Jesus, 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 Jesus. yeah, yeah, Sodom and Gomorrah. Hey, hey, we need, and then we circle back to to, to uh, mercy, man. You know, because yeah. once this is given, this word was given to us. This is all another form of mercy, also. You know, 
because this word it, it, it speeds us it, it does something to us when we don't have when the lord took away the wisdom knowledge and understanding we started to get we started to break down we started to get rust on us you know we wow. we, we started to you know fall apart but even though because through many other captivities we had this word this is the only captivity where the lord stripped everything and we started to degenerate you know But now we got the word. You see Jake catching hell, but hey, hey, we ain't we ain't doing we ain't getting like we was, man. Where there, it, I've been seeing more priests, more men getting the spirit. You know, men from across the around the world. You know, jumping in the same spirit because what what do we have now that we didn't have before? The truth. Yep. And what's what's the main ingredient in that truth? I gotta end with that. The uh, the uh, name. Exactly. The there exactly. Right. Then, yeah, that main ingredient is the foundation of the truth. The truth man. And you, you can call you, but you cannot call yourself an Israelite if you're calling on Jesus. You can't do that. Yeah, you ain't in the truth. Because that's a cool name, man. Because Jesus means earth king. Mm. It means that, man. It means earth king. So why are we calling the Messiah an earth king, man? Mm. When a pig, when a when swine is an unclean animal. Yeah. Because Jake, Jake, Jake doesn't do research. When you tell them, they don't want to be wrong, man. Yeah, and, and 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 I got it right here. This is the book of Acts. This is Acts four and twelve. Never, ne neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And that name is Yahweh. <laughs> we don't have that. <laughs> yeah, we don't have that. We don't do that here. Yeah, we don't do that. We don't. We don't want. We don't want none. We don't want none of it, man. We ain't going back in the. We ain't going back in the uh, spiritual slavery, man. All right. No. Jesus is a Jesus, or, or whatever, whatever, whatever that is. That ain't that ain't our power, man. Mm -hmm. That's not who we serve, bro. Yeah, that's 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 something we don't we don't call upon that uh, because the uh, so-called Chesare didn't bring us out of slavery. Chesare has not went through the four corners of the planet Earth, gathering the the lost sheep of the tribe of Israel, man. That that the G's been around on planet Earth many years, man. You know how many you know how many suits I burned through behind Jesus. <laughs> I don't burnt a lot of suits, man. I don't went through a lot of suits, and nothing happened, man. Nothing happened, but as soon as these garments came on, our borders of blue and our fringes and our law, that's when change happens, man. You know, yeah. true change, true change in, in men, you know, and it's only getting better, you know. So, Kahala, Yah, Bashimi, Asha, you go ahead and lead us out. I oh, and how many gates were uh, lynched in the name of Jesus, though? Yeah, a gang load. Yeah, we our, got up. Our, our iniquity has been accomplished, man. Our bond was our paid. Slavery has been accomplished. It's over. Yep. Our 
bond has been paid, man. Right. Just like if you bond somebody out of jail, there ain't nothing you can do. They can't hold you in there if you bond out. If you got the cash to get out, what was the what, what was the payment, man? Y'all was shot bonded us out, man. Y'all was shot bonded us out of, of this jail, this captivity that we had a life sentence. Y'all was shot bonded us, man. He paid the he paid the price and and hey, just like you get in the movies where you know you collecting your stuff. When you go to the one place, you gotta collect your stuff you brought in. What did we bring in? We brought in our identity. We getting that back. We went in the lockup. They stripped us. They put us in oranges, and then you know. But then you get your you get your your, your stuff back, man. So we're getting pulled out of this captivity, and we're getting you know who we are back, man. Yeah. You know. So hey, that's that. I ain't got nothing else, bro. That's all I got. Hey, you got it. Shem Rakha Dash. 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 Rakha